Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger from Picks and Parlays. Baseball is rolling on, at least for the time being, and we're here to give you a free pick. Just a reminder, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell if you want notifications every time we post a new video. And we've got Chip Trimus joining us to talk a little Pirates and Cubbies. Well, you know, baseball's back and back. It's August 1st. We're in the middle of the pennant race, and they played four games. But, you know, Mitch Keller's starting for the Pirates here. The Cubs are a heavy favorite in this game, a dollar seventy at least. I know we were, quite, we were talking before about whether we would think consider the run line, considering what it might be. Mitch Keller starting for the Pirates. He was a one in five last year with a 7.1 ERA. He got off to a good start, gave up one run in five innings in his first start and um, picked up the victory. This Pirate team, though, overall, Chelsea, they're just absolutely horrible. 21 and 43, their last 64 times out as a dog. They've only won 19 of 61 games against the NFC Central. And the Cubs are nine and four against Pittsburgh in their last thir um, 13. And they've gone nine, eight and two to the over, these two, the last 10 matchups, if you want to go that way, because you don't like the heavy price. And uh, this Chatswood, who's also given up only one run in, in six innings of pitching this season, he's got a big Victory under his belt. Uh, last season against Pittsburgh, he gave up one run in eight innings. He made five appearances in relief. So um, it looks like Pirates just seem so bad, Chelsea. I don't know where they're going to um, get the competitiveness to um, really be a force in the season. Right. And they're without their closer. Uh, the issue I have with the Cubs is their bullpen. Their bullpen has the worst ERA in all of baseball. That's right. Dead yeah. last. And it's an ERA close to 10. I wish that there was. <laughs> Uh, an over under on this game out right now because I think I would lean towards an over. It obviously depends on what the number is. Uh, but right. Tyler Chatwood, he can be really good for the Cubs at times, but he also can walk the house at some sometimes. Uh, his control has been an issue, yeah. but we're still talking about the Pirates here. So <laughs> that's <laughs> no, the you're issue. right about that. And Chats Chatsworth's control has been a major issue with him um, throughout his entire career. He's followed him so far. So we'll see what happens. Sometimes people mature. Sandy Koufax had control problems early in his career, and so did Nolan Ryan, and, and they grew out of it. But um, who knows if he's going to have that kind of a future. I don't know if headed that direction. But. I don't think he has that kind of future is what I'm saying. So, um, But, you know, the, I, beating the Pirates isn't, isn't a major challenge. So I think laying the Cubs might be the way to go. A heavy number here. Heavy number. I'll lay the Cubs. And uh, tomorrow, if we look at the run line, maybe we'll consider that. But they just seem to beat the Pirates like a drum. They, they play them uh, tough. And Pittsburgh is just so weak. I can't say it. I can't see the Pirates uh, being a force this year at all. Right. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up for our Pirates-Cubs talk. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Picks and Parlays.